Hi everybody. So um, I just wanted to make this quick video because I live near the mountains in Japan. So I walk in this kind of place like all the time. Okay. So do you guys see that little hole in the tree right there? That's usually in the summer where I find what is now referred to in the U.S. as murder hornets. Okay? Murder hornets. It would be, it's very early in the season because it's still early May right now. So they're not really out and about. But try to keep your eyes on that tree. I'm hoping they come. There are these brown sort of moth looking butterflies that are usually flying in like a bunch maybe two or three of them, four. And I've noticed that those brown butterflies, like moths, are always around where the murder hornets are. So the murder hornets, this is such a scary name. The murder hornets in Japan are called suzumebachi and they are always here. They're like something we live with like they make nests in the roofs, inside the roofs of people's outside of their house, things like that. And you have like professional um, exterminators come and get them. Yes, they are dangerous. But there are places in Japan where they actually fry up those larvae and eat them for a good source of protein. Um, what I know, I'm not a scientist, but after living here for 32 years, what I've been taught is that the suzumebachi, they usually live in the forest, like a very forested place like this, green. They come out in the summer. Um, they have these like sentry, I guess they would be called sentry or scout bees that will fly around and look for enemies and whatever. So, and they have a very, very loud buzz. So, um, you will not mistake it. You'll hear like, it's like, you know, those big uh, round chubby bees. Uh, I think in Japan, they're called kumabachi. I don't know what they're called in um, US anymore. I forgot, sorry. They're really big and they make a really loud sound and they like to hang around like lehua trees and stuff. Um, the sound of the suzumebachi or the murder hornet is like louder than that. So you would definitely hear it. And supposedly, if you're within 15 meters, so somebody can figure out what that is in feet, but if you're in 15 meter, within 15 meters of the, the nest, the um, hive, they will get mad and they're aggressive. Um, so when you hear one, just try to slowly walk out of that area, okay? Um, they don't like it when you're running and you're very near their nest. Definitely don't like that. Um, my friend's husband, as he was jogging on a regular road, he went too close by mistake. He probably didn't hear because he was listening to the earphones. And he got attacked and he got many stings. But, ew, bug, sorry. But people live through this. Um, if they get you in the back of the neck, and the reason why they go for the head a lot is because if you have really dark hair, um, supposedly the murder hornets, suzumebachi, they don't like the color black because um, they, they think it might be a bear. So when you're out hiking in the summertime in a forested area and you think that there might be hornets, those scary ones around, um, don't wear really like a black hat or like dark clothes, probably wear lighter clothes. And um, they will, if you're trying to take their nest and you're trying to get those larvae to make yourself a little fried up snack, they're not gonna be happy about that. So they will go for your neck and your head to try to sting you. Unfortunately, when my dad was um, cutting some of my uh, bushes next to the, uh, my house where I live right now, we didn't know there was a suzumebachi nest right in the tree that he was cutting. And I remember he was like, ow, oh, like that, because one of them bit his head. But it was sort of like, ow, like a bad centipede sting. But if you get a whole bunch of those, that would not be good. So um, anyway, I wouldn't worry too much about the murder hornets. Although, you know, I would be careful and be wary. Just like if you were um, walking around in the forest and maybe there's like bears that live there or whatever. You would need to be careful, correct? So um, if you just study up on these, there's suzumebachi, murder hornet, I guess. <laughs> Remember when we were all scared about killer bees coming to the United States and it, it didn't turn out to be as bad as everybody thought it might be? So I'm not trying to downplay it, 
but I'm just saying that we live with these murder hornets. If that, I'm pretty sure it is the same thing in Japan. And uh, I've been here 32 years. Oh, just like sharks in Hawaii. So you know how there's sharks in the ocean around Hawaii, but none of us, very few of us, have actually seen one or been, you know, scared by one or something. So I would think it's kind of the same thing. So you don't have to over worry. Just wanted to give you what I know about the Suzume Bachi. Uh, hopefully, so you can keep hiking and not be scared. Okay, bye. Aloha.